Hey everybody, it's Eric from EPAutos.com, your libertarian car guy, and had something a little different today that I thought some people out there might be interested in, and uh, it has to do with uh, gearing differences and their effect on miles per gallon. Uh, some of you may know that I have an old muscle car, 76 Pontiac Trans Am, and I also have what I'm driving right now, my 2002 Nissan Frontier. So, on the one hand, you've got a modern vehicle, a fuel-injected engine, and on the other hand, you got an old muscle car with a big V8 and a carburetor. Interestingly, as it turns out, they both get about the same actual mileage. And the reason for that has to do with uh, the fact that a few years ago, I put in a uh, transmission with an overdrive final gear ratio uh, in the Trans Am that dramatically cuts down its cruise RPMs. So it winds up getting about the same high teens, low 20s as I get in this Nissan, which has all the advantages of several decades of technology. Now, it also has an overdrive transmission, but its overdrive ratio is not nearly as steep uh, as that of the uh, transmission in my Trans Am, such that I'm going to try and show you maybe look at the tachometer and see that at about a little over 60 miles an hour, uh, the tach is reading about 2,500 RPM. I can take the Trans Am out on the road and get it up to about 70, and uh, the RPM is only about 2,000, so considerably less at a higher road speed. And that's because the transmission that I currently have in that car has a 0.67 final drive ratio, or uh, overdrive ratio, rather, uh, whereas the transmission, the five-speed manual that's in this Frontier, uh, fifth gear is only a 0.81 ratio. So uh, the engine ends up winding uh, a little bit higher at uh, various road speeds than in the Trans Am. And it strikes me as fascinating that uh, one minor change, really pretty minor change, uh, to an old car that has none of the advantages of modern technology, does not have computerized engine management, has a big four-barrel carburetor, and it has the biggest engine that General Motors ever put into a muscle car, uh, and almost the biggest engine GM ever put into any of its cars, period, can still approximate the gas mileage that you'll get out of a compact pickup truck with a four-cylinder engine and all the advantages of the modern uh, technological advances that we've seen over the past three or four decades. So I thought that was kind of interesting and it got me to thinking about what would be possible uh, if you were to put overdrive gearing in something a little bit less uh, fuel voracious than my Trans Am. Heck, just take a regular Firebird, let's say, from the same era uh, with a small V8 uh, or even the later models had a V6. I bet you you could probably get 30 miles per gallon or even more out of one of those things on the highway and still have a nice big American car rear wheel drive without a lot of the stuff that they're festooning modern cars with that have made them much more expensive, much more complicated, uh, much more difficult and much more expensive to work on than a car like my old Trans Am. So, uh, I'll have a written article up at epautos.com to accompany this, uh, this audio rant, so come on by and have a look at that. Uh, also, there's a piece up about uh, Cadillac's death dive that uh, some of you uh, listening to this might be interested in and entertained by, and also uh, another rant about our good friend Elon Musk and his faltering crony capitalist car, electric car con. So that's all I've got for today. Thanks for listening and viewing, and we'll catch up with you again soon.